Scorpio. This is your reading for Spring Equinox 2020. Spring Equinox is on the 20th of March. My name is Barta from Intuitive Tarot Readings by Barta. And this video is being done live on Facebook. This will be put up on YouTube. So YouTube watchers, if you're watching this, um, until I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be doing it on uh, Facebook Live because there's a lot of people that like to interact. For those that are interacting with me while it's being done live, just to let you know, sometimes the camera is more towards my back, so I can't always see, you know, when somebody's on there. So I might not answer you until after the reading because <clears throat> I kind of get into what I'm doing and then I, you know, unless I feel like, hey, look up. All right. Spring Equinox 2020. Scorpio. And the way I'm doing this right here is this is not going to be as long. Well, there was one that was actually as long as what the other ones, you know, my normal readings are. But with spring equinox, spring is, you know, that's that's the time when the earth starts coming back to life and everybody starts feeling better. I mean, because the, the air, everything is just alive. It's it's beautiful. So it's kind of like that. That's that's kind of how I wanted to take and I want to give positive affirmations is what I'm after. So if I do see a problem and it needs to be addressed, um, I am using oracle cards. But if I feel the need to go to the tarot cards to get more details, I will. But the oracle cards, you'll see quite a few new cards here <coughs> that I was drawn to. And I may not use every single one of them. I'll just, whatever one I'm drawn to, that's the one I'm going to pull. All right. So we're going to keep this more on the positive side. And then I will be getting out the April's the April 2020 monthly readings within the next couple days or by, you know, the beginning of next week. All right, let's get started. Scorpio. Spring Equinox. Okay, that's too many. Spring Equinox 2020. Scorpio. Scorpio needs to know. Scorpio. Man, there's a lot going on with Scorpio. I'm having trouble with these. Something positive for Scorpio. Well, spring equinox, show me. And I hear pull. Anybody who watches me, sometimes I'll pull off the bottom of the deck. Sometimes I'll pull out of the middle. If I hear pull, then I'll just either open it up like a book and read it. Or I'll pull a card. And I feel for Scorpio, there's a lot going on. Pull. Believe in magic. So there's one. More? Yes. Scorpio. It's going to the next 2020. All right. I had another one fall. And I did review some of the videos before, so I will apologize with the lighting and stuff. I mean, for right now, this is the area I have to work with. <clears throat> so as long as you can hear me, we're, we're good. All right. For Scorpio, I got Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. All right, I'll get into that here in a minute. Fogged in, go slow, take time. First light, beginning a new cycle. All right, before I want to read those, I want to get a little bit more information. So, let's see. Yep. Scorpio. Man, you know what? This is, I've, I've had it happen on a couple of them. Do you see all that? I'm not going to take all these, but this is a lot of stuff going around the Scorpio's head. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Oh, but this one is sliding off the top. So I'm going to take that one. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Okay. So right now, this is a spiritual path for Scorpio. That's what I'm feeling right now. By March, I, you know, it looks to me, and I'm going to pull some more cards to get a little bit more detail. And the way I'm reading these two, as you know, as well as I do, with Scorpios, there are thousands and thousands of Scorpios. So this, if, if you know, if you're like, hey, that sounds like me, good. Take what you can from it and leave the rest. If it doesn't, then I'll be doing Aprils, and maybe, you know, maybe you'll be able to get something out of that. All right, let's put that back. 
believe in magic. Go slow, take time, beginning a new cycle. Okay, so this is basically, you know what I heard is I heard rebirth. This is a group of Scorpios who are, and they are definite, definitely, this, this feels literal to me. <coughs> Journey by moonlight, believe in magic. And what stands out is believe in magic. You see all the magical creatures? This is for a group of Scorpios who are going off on their own spiritual path and they are doing whatever they, you know, whatever it takes to get closer to, what is the word? What is the word? What's the word for Scorpio? It's becoming more in touch with your spiritual side. That's what I'm getting. No matter if it's, no matter what you believe in, it's Scorpios who are coming back into how they believe. And they're even actually expanding. And it says, go slow. It takes time. Scorpios like to rush. But it also says they're beginning a new cycle. So, you know, as they say, as you, as you go through your life and you go through different, you know, situations, it makes you grow, right? Okay, so this is what's happening. It's the beginning of a new cycle. Scorpio is starting a whole new cycle in how they, they look at the spiritual side of life. That's what I get. And it also shows me with this card right here, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. This is a Scorpio. Now, I am not, I'm not really good into all the, you know, you have your eagle and then you have your um, phoenix, I believe it is. I, I could be wrong on that. I haven't studied a whole bunch on that one. But this is a Scorpio who is going to the next level. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What else? What should I... And what is making, or why is a Scorpio doing this? Which is good. I mean, this is a positive thing. This is very positive. Is this the right card? Nope. Okay. What else do you have for Scorpio? Positive message for Scorpios who are transitioning themselves to become whom they're meant to be. That's what I heard. Scorpio. Fortunate. Okay, so this is basically from what I'm seeing right here with the fortune card. This isn't just about materialistic things. This is actually somebody who, this is a group of Scorpios or somebody of the Scorpion nature who believes in magic. And it's taken them a long time to come to that point to where they decided to, to begin a new cycle and they're going to do whatever it takes to get closer to their consciousness. So this is, this is a Scorpio who is coming back to, you know, it's, you know, that saying when I say coming to Jesus meeting, okay, this is the good kind. This is the good kind. It's kind of like they're getting in touch with themselves. This is Scorpios. This is for a certain group of Scorpios who have in the past, I'm not going to say totally shoved, whether it's your faith, or your beliefs, or just believing that stuff, you know, magic, just believing that stuff could happen. A lot of them have put it in, you know, kind of off on the back burner. No, this is the, in, in, around spring equinox, Scorpios, this group of Scorpios is going to be coming into their own. And it's going to be very fortunate. And we're not just talking financial here. You see the guy right here, he's walking around these stairs and you know, they're going to curve up here and they're going to keep going, right? Well, he's almost there. He's almost there to finding that, and I hear spiritual, treasure. Believe in magic. All right? And this could also be a group of Scorpios who actually have an end golden sight, and it's going to come to fruition. That's, is that, I'm not very good with that word. <clears throat> Around March equinox. So far, it's good trying to keep these more positive because you know what springs spring is a beautiful time it's where everything comes alive and it's been really hard for every single sign for whether it's been months years it doesn't matter and just like when the earth comes back to life in springtime every zodiac sign has been going through something and just like here scorpio is coming alive again slowly they're big they're getting back their faith in whatever it was they're actually beginning a new cycle. They're getting rid of it. It's out with the old and in with the new. 
that's what I'm getting and how do they think and they're actually when it says um, get closer to the consciousness it doesn't mean that it's it, it's not just um, it could be a spiritual aspect but a lot of people when you're walking through life and stuff and, and a lot of stuff's going on you kind of lose a piece of yourself and you don't ever you know you're so busy with your life and stuff that you don't sit here and take the time to actually connect with yourself March and March is going to be a big one for Scorpio huge I just heard huge I saw actually I didn't hear it I saw the word huge big time <clears throat> that's good so far all the signs are trying to come out of their cycles and it's been cycles all right so this one was sideways right here all righty and when I see a card that is sideways like this the way I explain it is and I'm not seeing a bunch of adversity here and stuff like that um, not until I turn this card over I say challenge but when it's sideways like this the way I explain it which is actually this is how I saw it at the beginning this is something that we put it right here with all the rest of them this is something that's making its way out of your life if it was straight up and down then that's a challenge that's a hurdle do you see the guy on top of the uh, mountain right there I know my video is not that great there we go if he was just standing up on the on the mountain right there then he had all this to face you know he had to go out there and trudge out there and just you know keep going no and if it's reversed then there's no challenge at all okay but it's like this that means this was a challenge that this group of Scorpios have been working to overcome, whether it's reinstilling their faith in themselves, real in, uh, reinstilling their faith in magic, whether it is metaphorically or um, in realistic, whichever way you want to look at it. They're beginning a new cycle. Scorpio is killing off the old Scorpio, and they are bringing on a new Scorpio. That is going to be fortunate, and this challenge is heading on out the door fortune whether material or if it is actually just it looks more to me to be more of a self it, it the other signs too a lot of them are starting to come back alive spring brings things back to life and I feel that this year for the ones that don't fight against what they know they should be doing maybe you I'm trying to think of an example um Let's just say you're in a cycle of, um, and it doesn't matter if you're Scorpio, whatever sign you are, but say, 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 okay, you're, maybe you're pessimistic, okay? And you, you know you shouldn't be that way, but it just, it just happens. And then after a while, you, you, you keep doing it. And I, you know what? I put this up here too. Do you see the wheel? I don't know why I put it up here. I just felt like it. It's appropriate. It's appropriate for every single one of these readings so far. The wheel of fortune everybody everybody goes around in a cycle like a wheel it turns around and around so you go to your highs success business whatever it is life love it doesn't matter and then we all come to our lows right but this is saying that Scorpio is coming on the up and up like it's March is going to be a great month for Scorpio as far as coming out of how that they haven't connected with themselves with their conscious self so whatever you're thinking about pushing on forward for a Scorpio it's gonna work it really truly is excuse me <clears throat> and your challenge is heading out the door okay well I'm wanting to keep this more on the up and up but I'm gonna pull some tea leaves off this not that I'm thinking it's a bad thing I just feel like pulling them and it may give an idea about what this challenge was whatever it was oh that is too many but you know with Scorpio there has been every time I'm shuffling there is a lot of cards that want to come out mm -mm, too many too much too many tabs open at one time like a computer there's like 50 when there should only be two all right Scorpio what message do you have what's this about is this right no, 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 no. You know what? I just heard leave that alone. We might touch that one um, more towards April's because whatever is going, there's always something going on in every person's head. But with the zodiac sign Scorpio, 
like I said, they're like a dang plastic computer. There's supposed to be two tabs open, and there's got to be 56 open at all times. All right, so we're just going to go back to the positive cards. So I want to keep these more on the upbeat and give people something to focus on more positive. All right. It's all about spirituality. I'd have to say this is for Scorpios who are actually taking the spiritual path. They are finally leading the the path to leave to lead excuse me yeah it's all talking about believing in magic go slow take time fogged in this could also be fog brain that's what i'm getting to you know not seeing the bigger picture on it like it's slowly starting in their head but around spring equinox which if you look at the picture there you can see the bird nest and and I know you can see the snow on the ground, so this is actually going to happen before spring equinox. I mean, what do we got going on today? It's snowing. Scorpio's already working on this. That's what I get. But by spring, see the flowers? By spring, Scorpio's going to be square on how, see their talisman? This is all about spirituality. Whatever faith you are, it does not matter. Scorpio is coming back to their own. They are connecting with their conscience. And they're going to do it too. And it's going to be very fortunate. And it's going to make this great hurdle of a challenge leave their life. And what's that hurdle and challenge? It's just, it looks to me, it has to do with about faith and how you believe. No matter how you believe. But it, it, it's about faith. And Scorpios have a tendency to be on the spectrum of believing in magic. I mean, they really, truly do. So, I mean, I, I'm a Scorpio, and I'm feeling this reading. I really am. This is a very, this is a nice reading. Because Scorpios, it doesn't matter. This is, it's not just Scorpios. There's many, many signs that, that have been, you know, no matter what faith you are or anything like that, you kind of get busy in what you're doing and, and it, you kind of get the fog brain because you're just like, oh, this is not just, this is not going to work for me. I mean, I, it's nothing's coming, coming up stuff, you know. Why can't I think clearly on this? A new cycle is coming for Scorpio in March. Matter of fact, it, it, with this card, oh, excuse me, with this card right here, it's already well on its way. Snow. They've been working on it since fall with a leaf right there. There's fall, there's winter, get spring. So by spring, Scorpio will be coming out. And I know that's a general, you know, coming out, but they are actually going to be connected to themselves and they will be doing and living the life that is fortunate for them in their faith. Okay, I don't think I can ask for much more on that one as far as, and challenges are on the way out the door as far as, yeah, as far as roadblocks, mind blocks, stuff that has stopped Scorpio from taking this, this path and getting back to the way they should be. They are on the correct talisman path. That's what I get. All right. Um, I don't really feel like pulling any more cards for Scorpio because that's, I mean, that's pretty positive right there. Yep. Again, I just feel like reading this again. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. This is coming closer to your faith. Whatever faith you are, it does not matter. Or whatever you believe in. It's going to be very fortunate. All right, Scorpio. I will take and be doing April's here within the next couple of days or the beginning of next week. And then I'm sure if this is showing here, it'll more will probably show on April's. And if you want to get a hold of me for a direct reading, um, I will be attaching my uh, intuitive tarot reading email. I did set one of those up. So if you wanted a personal reading for me, you could get a hold of me. <clears throat> and I will be trying, I let's see, who is next? Next up is Leo. I will be getting all the spring equinox out today, hopefully. All right, thank you, Scorpio.